Mrs. Greco... Mrs. Greco glanced blandly over the one, two, three, four, nine, ten, eleven children in front of her. This is a big family, and it has grown bigger and bigger over the past few years because of Schneider. They're Schneider's sisters. It's hard for the Grecos to tell them apart. But Schneider is different. She was born in an earthquake, all covered in blood, and didn't let out her first cry until two hours later. It wasn't until she was one years old that her father noticed that she had never been baptized. The Grecos are not good at dealing with gang affairs. They can't even figure out when their daughter has grown, grown into the backbone of the whole family. When Schneider took out $500 from her pocket and put them on the table, they were completely shocked. And that's just the beginning. Schneider. Schneider, the youngest daughter they seldom cared about. It's impossible to keep every child well fed. Schneider could not even get a piece of bread in the Eucharist. But a good daughter would not let anyone worry about her. She sat on the bench outside the church and hummed. She found a way out for herself. She walked to the underground market, fascinated by what she saw. She announced her new identity one day. The identity you know now. In the process, she lost something old, but gained something new. No matter if she wished for it or not. Now, Mrs. Greco said, we live or we die. If Schneider comes back safely tonight, we will leave when the moon rises. The doors are closing in front of us, one after another. But the benevolent Maria will give us the ultimate shelter. My children, remember today forever. Her words speak for her status, but Mrs. Greco's eyes never moved away from that small Madonna on the table. The hem of her clothes was soaked in tears. 4 p.m. A family is determined to start a new journey. 